Well, video number two. Okay, let's delve into this. Uh, so, in my last video, the background and all that, um, I'll find out how to do a link um, to that. Otherwise, you'll work out how to get back to the only other video that's currently on there. Hmm. Um, I expressed that I was getting into Necromunda. Um, Necromunda is a game that I played back in the mid 90s, 96, 97, something like that. Um, I liked it. It was different. It wasn't particularly 40k. It was sort of set in that world. No, I wasn't a big fan of 40k. I kind of said this in the last thing. The, the storyline just never really gelled with me. I didn't. I wasn't as captivated as many of you are with with the whole canon behind 40k. And as I've said in my previous video, my whole love for this gaming thing was about the storyline it was using your imagination and I, I just the space thing the space marines that the it didn't it it didn't work it didn't get me necromunda on the other hand um the idea of like the kind of mad max era post-apocalyptic kind of gang warfare thing that i did like that i thought was cool um and that's kind of what necromunda was, was game of you know gangs you know you didn't need a big force like with warhammer you just needed a few little models and the 3d terrain thing really kind of excited me um there was a whole side of it that was you know about line of sight and sneaking around in tunnels and, you know in and around terrain and stuff um and from a modeling perspective the terrain element of it really kind of tweaked my gears um so anyway, uh, a few weeks ago, I was in the UK visiting some family and uh, yeah, um, happened to see that they'd done a re-release of this and it tweaked my interest and kind of snowballed into me wanting to get back into hobbying, basically. Um, I saw a bunch of this stuff, they were being discounted, so I picked it up. I was like, well, yeah, whatever, I'll grab it and I'll try it and we'll see what, we'll throw it to the wall and see what sticks, you know. Um, so here we are. Let's look at some stuff. Delac, Delacu. I feel like it should be Delacu, but it's probably Delac. You tell me. Um, it's written almost French, like, so, yeah, but anyway. Um, I don't know, I like these guys. They're just from a sheer model. They look funky. Um, the kind of long trench coat, you know, bald headed, sneaky sort of thing. I like it. Um, I know these were, these existed as a, as a gang back in the, the original release of this. Um, but I, I, I remember the models being a lot more stocky. These, these look sinister and sneaky, and I like that. Um, so, I got it. They were on special, they were being discounted. The hobby shop that I was in at the time was literally chucking them out. Um, I, don't, I don't know why, I mean, maybe you know, Games Workshop obviously re-released this. It was obviously a, a need for them to re-release this. Um, and they, uh, maybe, maybe it was a nostalgia thing. Maybe there's not too many people like me that thought it was cool. I don't know. There's many of you 40k heads that are playing Kill Team, which I assume is a similar thing. Um, I don't know, whatever tickles you fancy. Um, but these are cool. Is it? Ah. So, for those who haven't seen, box is pretty simple. Some instructions, box art. Bases, ooh, textured bases. That's different from the way they used to come. Like pre molded textured bases. They're quite cool. Um, these sculpts are quite quite amazing actually. They're quite really good. Certainly a lot better than what you used to get. Um, cool, that'll be fun. Ooh. Sweet. Okay. I guess we're gonna put these together at some point. Joy. What else we got? So that's 
Delac, Delacue, sneaky guys. Okay. Um, I also have ah, heavy the big box. So let's have a look at what's in here. Don't need the knife; it's already broken. A little bit. Shrink wrap off. Brand new unboxing. I'm sure there's plenty of other unboxing videos of this. In fact, I know there are. I watched a couple of them. I've got an idea of what we're thinking ourselves into. That can go over there. But here we go. Mmm, smells. Tape lights. Cool. I have some of these from the original 4th edition Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Basically the same thing, just clear. Cool. Alright. Well, it's nice to see there's some continuation, continuity going on with those, that they're still using the same sort of templates, so game mechanics haven't changed a great deal. That's kind of easy for me to kind of get along with. Um, terrain, there's lots of, what are these, bulkhead door things. They look pretty cool, they're cool sculpts. Little handles for hatches and stuff, cool. Some more of the same, tentacle arm, skull thing. Oh, yeah, broken doors, cool. Some more sprues of gangers. Okay, so this comes with Goliath and Escher. Uh, cool. That's great detail on these plastic skulls. That's really cool. Yeah, the, for some of you, this is probably not new. You know, uh, you've probably been around this for the last 15 years. For me, you know, this is a pretty big jump and then it's from, from what you used to get to this sort of detail coming in a plastic sprue. That's pretty amazing. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I look forward to painting these and building them. All right, so there's the... Okay, so there's lots of parts. They're basically the same sprue. Yeah, okay. All right, so these are basically the two of the exact same sprue, so multi-part models, so you can make many of the same thing. That's cool. Okay. And the big brutes. Cool. Excellent. Same again by the... Oh no, 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 yeah, yes, yes, same again. Two of the exact same sprue. These are quite cool. Oh wow, big instruction booklet. Colour. That's a change. I think even the, even the black one was... That's black and white. Color slash gray part of it that makes it much easier to sort of see what you're doing, I guess. Um, I mean, there's a lot of parts to these, putting them together, which is cool. I kind of like that. Um, you know, uh, cool, sweet. All right, what else we got? We got a rule book. Now, as I understand it. Um, this is pretty much useless already. Okay, I mean, I've got these two. Now I've been reading this one already and flicking through this one, but I understand that these are kind of the new edition of that. But we'll see. I and mean, this this is obviously your introductory thing that normally is the easier laid out rules, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'll go through that. In a bit, maybe I'll do another video with a review of this and that. Yeah. If you want to see that, ask me. Put a comment. Um, what else we got? Ooh. Tiles and things. Lots of shrink wrapping. 
then I would have had to go to the environment. Uh, go away. Oh, these counters. Okay, so these are like marker counters. That looks like it's a like a I don't know a facing indicator, a arc, vision arc kind of indicator. Bunch of perforated cardboard bits. Ooh, game tiles. A board game. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. That's cool. And I remember the, the original Necromunda having lots and lots of cardboard terrain. This has got more like the plastic sort of terrain. It's, I suppose it's kind of reminding me a lot of Space Hulk. I don't know whether Space Hulk's still a thing, was a thing. I know it was a thing. Um, I don't know whether they re-released it or anything, but Space Hulk was like a board game that you kind of use Space Marines on. I was never a big fan of it, but I saw it. I played once or twice. Um, some empty packs. I don't know if they're supposed to have something in them. Let's get in. Some dice. Cool. And some bases. These, much like the last one. Oh, you got different sizes, okay. Some big ones. 35mm, 25mm. 20 mil and 25 mil maybe. I like that these are molded, like to fit the base terrain. That's quite cool. Okay. Um, and some tactics cards. I'm sure these will become. More important than what have we got here? Uh, blank ganger cards. These are obviously where you write in your gang details. Um, okay, so these are some. Existing gangers, what have we got? Alright, so these are the characters that they've included with the game and their details. According to the gang's book, you can obviously make your own. Um, but it's good, you know, a good point to start with if you're going to create scenarios and play with, you know, as a starting point. If I find someone to play with. I'm lonely, come play with me. Um, good place to start. And then we've got tactics. Again, these will probably become more apparent when I start really going through the rule book and playing some scenarios. Um, sweet. Some cool stuff. Well, that's my new thing to play with. I guess I'll get started putting some of this together. I don't know whether you want to see that. Maybe you do. Maybe I'll do that in another video. I'll probably start with the Delac Gang. They look cool. I like them. I want to put them together. I want to play with them. The Escher and the Goliath. They're... I mean, they're cool sculpts, but they're not really... I don't know, something about the bald-headed sneaky guys in trench coats. There's something about that that kind of appeals to me. I like that. That's kind of freaky and weird. They're, they're, I think they're the ones I'm more keen to play with. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get some of this out. We'll put it together and maybe I'll do a building and painting video. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs>